In July 2020, researchers reviewed the results of 32 studies that reported risk estimates for all-cause cardiovascular and cancer mortality, and they found that intake of plant protein was associated with an 8% lower risk of all-cause mortality and a 12% lower risk of cardiovascular disease mortality. They also found a dose-response analysis of data from 31 studies that just an additional 3% of energy from plant proteins a day was associated with a 5% lower risk of death from all causes. Despite these slightly modest findings, listen to what the researchers concluded. These findings have important public health implications as intake of plant protein can be increased relatively easily by replacing animal protein and could have a large effect on longevity. These findings strongly support the existing dietary recommendations to increase consumption of plant proteins in the general population. However, beans and legumes are high in something called phytic acid. And one of the concerns we hear about when eating a plant-based diet high in beans, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds is that these foods do contain this compound, phytic acid, otherwise known as phytates, inositol hexaphosphate or IP6. So what actually is phytic acid? Well, phytic acid is found in plant seeds and serves as the main storage form of phosphorus in the seeds. Phytic acid has received a lot of unwarranted publicity due to its anti-nutrient effect. This is because studies have found that phytic acid can prevent some absorption of iron, zinc and calcium. Interestingly though, this study found that this anti-nutrient effect was only manifested when large quantities of phytates were consumed in combination with a nutrient-poor diet. What people may not know is the beneficial effects that phytic acid can have on the body. Studies have shown that phytic acid can prevent kidney stones, diabetes, tooth decay, heart disease and many cancers. If you were still worried about the phytic acid mineral absorption issue, instead of giving up beans, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, you can actually soak them overnight, which will reduce the phytate content. Sprouting and fermenting seeds, legumes and grains can also reduce the phytic acid further. This study found that soaking, sprouting and then fermentation can reduce the phytic acid content of quinoa seeds by 98%. However, is there a downside to getting rid of the phytic acid from our foods? Well, let's hear from Dr. Joel Furman and Dr. Michael Greger as they talk more about phytic acid. And they'll talk about the anti-nutrient effects of the phytic acid. Well, the phytic acid in beans binds arsenic, mercury. It prevents iron-mediated hydroxy radicals from forming. It augments natural killer T cell activity, prevents, you know, inhibits cancer cell migration. It prevents um, formation of stones in the kidney. It's such a radical opposition to what the science really shows. But of all the things phytates can do, the anti-cancer activity of phytic acid is considered one of the most important beneficial activities. Dietary phytates are quickly absorbed from the digestive tract and rapidly taken up by cancer cells throughout the body and has been shown to inhibit the growth of all tested cancerous cell lines. Phytates have been shown to inhibit the growth of human leukemia cells, colon cancer cells, both estrogen receptor positive and negative breast cancer cells, voice box cancer, cervical cancer, prostate cancer, liver tumors, pancreatic melanoma, and muscle cancers, all at the same time not affecting normal cells. That's the most important expectation of a good anti-cancer agent is for it to only affect cancerous cells and leave normal cells alone. And that's what phytates appear to do. What are the mechanisms of action by which phytates battle cancer? How do phytates fight? This phytate targets cancer through multiple pathways. A combination of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and immune-enhancing activities, detox, differentiation, anti-angiogenesis. In other words, phytate affects the principal pathways of malignancy. And not just some of them. Apparently, phytate targets and acts on all of them. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.